Taboos of Feminism. Stay tuned for more. We'll be discussing the difficulties the transgender community faces on an everyday basis. A whopping 41% of people who are transgender or gender non-conforming have attempted suicide sometime in their lives, nearly nine times the national average, according to a sweeping survey released three years ago, according to Los Angeles Times. In Leela Alcorn's case, she had always felt different since she was four years old. She felt like she didn't fit in her own body. Then, at the age of 14, she had found out the idea of the transgender. She felt so excited that she ran and told her mom that she finally realized who she was. Instead of happiness like she expected, her mother responded to her with a scornful look and lecture of how it was a disgrace to the family, a disgrace to the religion that they fought. They then put her into therapy that was supposed to help her depression, but instead would tell her about how wrong she was for choosing to be transgender and how she was going against God's will. A couple weeks ago, Leela was hit by a car and, post, and posted a suicide note on Tumblr saying that telling her story and asking for people to help fix society so that the transgender community would be accepted in a more friendly manner. I feel that Leela was disrespected her entire life. Even after her death, her parents continued briefly posting on Facebook, calling her a boy and not respecting her for what she wanted to be, she was. And I think that's just, it's just sad that she had to commit suicide for her to be And also, she came to her parents as a way to come out about how she felt about herself. And according to Los Angeles Times, being out as transgender is also tied to a safer risk. Study show. People who tell everyone that they are transgender or gender non conforming or said that the other people could always or usually tell that they were transgender were more likely to have attempted suicide. So, according to the Trevor Project, suicide is the second leading cause of death among people ages 10 to 24. Wow. And LGBT youth are four times more likely to commit suicide or attempted than their fellow people. I feel like that definitely needs to change, and the only reason the way it will is going to be teaching people to be more accepting of people who want to come out as this. You know, when you come out as transgender, it's you recognizing that you're not, you weren't born in the body that you feel like you belong in, and you finally belong when you do come out, you finally belong, it feels like you can finally be yourself for once. And I think that when people disgrace that, and yeah, when they tell them that it's shameful, that it's wrong, it, it's just going to hurt even more. And yeah, so just making the beats continue to do that, to see it in the negative way, then we're just going to keep losing innocent souls. And becoming, and being straight has become the norm in some way. Like, people are ashamed now to tell their friends and even their family members that they come with a certain sexual orientation. And because so many people are growing up in a family in which, you know, all their, all their relatives are straight, they feel as though they are the black sheep of the family or the outsider. So they don't want to come to their family members or even their friends to tell them how they feel. And it's just bottled up inside and the only way, the only way to go out is I feel like people are crossing the line because it's not really their business or they don't really have the right to tell someone like, oh, you should live your life a certain way because that's their life. They should be able to live it the way they feel like they deserve to. They deserve to live the way they want to. I mean, you have one life and you should live it in whatever way it makes you happy. But is death really the answer? I feel like that shouldn't have to be the answer. They should be able to get respect from their family and friends and enjoy the life they're living and not have to commit suicide. Exactly. I think that as a family, you should love each other unconditionally. And even though the parents continue to say, well, we did, we love our son unconditionally. Well, if you continue to call we like your son, then that's not what we're 
her unconditionally, you're loving her the way you see her, the way you want to her. I feel like they're fed off with all the negativity that they feel like um, suicide is the only other thing they can do. And that's kind of how they escape up. I feel as though they had a hard time accepting it, and then you gotta say that family should do this and family should do that. What is a family nowadays? Like, family. I mean, people would rather go to their friends for support than their own family. I think it's just another word for Family doesn't In some cases. Yeah. Your friends can even tell you that being transgender is not an unusual thing. They can tell you all of this stuff, but at the end of the day, people just want acceptance from their family. Because those are the people they have to come home to. Those are the people that's going to raise you. Those are the people that you're going to bring your children around. You have kids. And those are the people, in most cases, you've looked up to your entire life. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you don't want to disappoint like, your role model. You aspire to be like them, and then you got to be them all this. It's tough. Yeah. So, today in the media, when you're watching television shows or whatever you do, you don't really see a lot of transgender characters. <laughs> and that's another reason why transgender people feel left out and as an outsider, I mean, who do they have to look up to? I mean, when Orange is the New Black character that Laverne Cox plays, she is transgender. We need more people like that. And I feel as though Orange is the New Black paved the way for so many transgender actors, actresses, singers, what have you. So as long as we keep, you know, just letting different people from different backgrounds come in. Next time you see some of them, don't be advised to end our nation initiative. Maybe you can see more. That's all the time we have today, folks. Thanks for watching the Colors of Feminism. Comment down below what you think about this topic. How do you think you can help a transgender person? Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and follow our Tumblr and Twitter down in the description below. Thank you.